Of course they are. I was directly involved. Which brings me to my next question. How does it feel to be a genius? Well, <laughs> I wouldn't know that now, would I? Maybe you should ask that arc reactor of yours. Sir, the telephone. I'm afraid my protocols are being overridden. Shouldn't you answer that? It could be serious. Phil sounds pretty shaken. Phil? His first name is Agent. reach the life model decoy of Tony Stark. Please leave a message. This is urgent. Then leave it urgently. Security breach. Mr. Stark. Phil, come on in. We're celebrating. Why is he Phil? Is this about the Avengers? Which I, I know nothing about. The Avengers initiative was scrapped. I thought, and I didn't even qualify. I didn't know that either. Yeah, apparently I'm volatile, self-obsessed, don't play well with others. That I did know. This isn't about personality profiles anymore. Access granted.
need you to look this over as soon as possible. Official consulting hours are between 8 and 5 every other Thursday. This isn't a consultation. What is all of this? the jet to DC tonight. You have homework. You have a lot of homework. Poor Captain Steve Rogers. A man at a time. I mean, literally. Back when he first became Captain America, he had so many adventures and faced such incredible foes. I wonder if the future will be any different for him. Anyway, Cap had many strange adversaries, but none were as dangerous as the Red Skull and Arnim Zola. It's a good thing that he had help from Peggy Carter and his best friend Bucky Barnes. Excelsior. Uh. Ow! wouldn't let me wear a leotard.
Base front. This looks like yet another perilous predicament. I'll rant about this later. Dr. Zola, what do you think? A masterpiece. What is happening? Captain America. How exciting. No, come on. Let's go. Ah. Captain America. This is just like one of your films. You and your pathetic sidekick are just in time to witness the true strength of Hydra! Captain Rogers, come in. Steve, are you there? Wait, is that radio view is broken again? I hope you're receiving this message. The Red Skull can be extremely dangerous. Proceed with caution. Let's give your new designs a field test, Doctor. I'd like to see how the shielded stooge fares against them. Of course, Herr Schmidt. Activating cannon defenses.
designs need a little more work, Sola. I'm sorry, Ashmeet. The next one will be better. Fair better, Doctor. My patience is wearing sin. Yes, Hesmit, I will not fail you again. You are deluded, Captain. You pretend to be a simple soldier, but in reality you are just afraid to admit that we have left humanity behind. Unlike you, I embrace it proudly, without fear. Those cannons were state-of-the-art, Doctor. I can assure you they are, Hirschmidt. My calculations never fail. This shouldn't be happening. You cannot stop Hydra, Captain. We are everywhere. In everything. You will see. I see you made short work of Zora's toys, Captain. Now let's see how you face a real challenge. I think we should be leaving now. 
I'd love to stay and have a pleasant chat, Captain. But I have plans that cannot be put on hold. Even for you. It is of no concern, Doctor. Hydra does not retreat. Let us see how the heroic Captain America deals with this. Steve? Captain Rogers? Oh, blast! I hope the radio might have sorted itself out by now. The Red Skull should be very close to your location. In fact, you're probably already fighting him. Best of luck with that. Come on, Cap. We got him on the ropes. <laughs> Get killed. Walk it off. This might require more than just smashing stuff. would be admirable, Captain, if it wasn't bound to your stupidity. We are the future, yet you serve lower beings. Till the end of the line, pal. The line. 